Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Oh, what a beautiful day. And you know, we have had an interesting weekend. I can say that much. Um, we've, there's a lot of stuff that cycled through the news over the weekend. And um, what? So we got Elon Musk and something about ending a, a bid that buy this whole Twitter thing everybody keeps talking about. You know, I'm trying my best to lay back on that till things sort of finalized because I'm not going to make any predictions whether it's good or bad till um, till it all happens. I just know that it's kind of neat to see him really poking at the left. Well, I enjoy that. I think that is a really good thing. Whether it's smoke and mirrors, I don't know. Uh, Elon Musk is definitely into some interesting stuff, but it has to do with Neuralink and other things like that, which I've talked about before. Not a big fan of that stuff. Uh, even if it's under the premise that if he gets the technology before anybody else, he could do good with it, they would do bad. Well, I, I just think sometimes you just leave things alone and everything sort of works itself out. I don't, I hold, uh, that whole thing is a whole other subject altogether. But watching the left sort of run around and be pissed off is, is, is entertainment enough for me. And uh, this whole thing with this Twitter is just going up and down. One minute he's about to get it. Next minute we're looking at a material breach by the social media giant. So let's read about this right here. Elon Musk has threatened to pull out of his deal to purchase Twitter as he accuses the social media giant of, of uh, resisting and thwarting his right to inf information about spam and fake accounts on the platform. In a letter now on Twitter, on Monday, Musk attorney argued that Musk purchases agreements mandates the platform to provide a request uh, requested data in full. By the way, at 11.30 today, I'll be live on This Way Network called Chat Session. Look it up. It comes up on YouTube. I'm really busy, so I'm not going to be able to post a whole bunch of links. Uh, I will post the links of what I'm talking about today. But yeah, basically talking about Elon Musk again here, we've got a situation where they're actually not really releasing information. Because if you're going to buy something, you want to know what it is you're buying. If you're going to buy a house, you do a home inspection before you, um, you, you purchase the house because you want to know what you're getting into. And that's actually something that's, uh, you know, advocated for any home buyer. So you kind of would want to translate that to any other big, big investment, like a car. You have a car, you take the car to a mechanic, you have him look it over to make sure that there's no uh, uh, bots or spamware hidden in the vehicle that could cause problems. Or better yet, you're actually buying the vehicle that you are trying to get, not a, a painted version of it. Anyhow, same thing, Twitter. If you're going to buy a certain amount of of uh, reach and platform or media size, it has to be actual numbers of real accounts. Um, that's what Elon's really trying to figure out. And, uh, needless to say, that's just not really, uh, they're doing everything they can to keep that going. So this is going to be, um, coded a lot because, uh, like I said, I'll link the article in the description. And so you can go buy my Cody's, but there's a thing that happened in 05. So scientists knew about this thing in 05 and it had to do with my hair. See how spiky it is? And a lot of times whenever you eat a lot of red meat, if you eat a lot of red meat, that's good for you because red meat has protein. So when you have this, and what happens with red meat, uh, you have this thing where it can cause potentially dangerous side effects when in when put in uh, somebody. How about that? Okay, so that would be this for that C word. Uh, in 05, they knew that this stuff was, was, uh, was a problem. There are now extremely... Da uh, darning damning links to uh brain degeneration due to the due, due to that uh stuff that they are wanting to force people into uh to doing okay um as as much as i'll talk about that right there because that's a big touchy subject you can link i'll link the article in the description I'm more than happy to check it out uh D judge Kentaje brown or justice future justice one of the main people on our board applauds taking away the Americans' Second Amendment rights. Now, I, on the other hand, don't have any of that stuff going on. I have a bunch of fishing poles. I'm a fisherman, so I don't have any of that. But anyways, for other people who do indulge in that, you know, I do like really good fishing poles. I like some of the best, I like the good fishing tackle, too, that you use, you know. Uh, but anyhow... For people in, on that end of it, uh, that's a really, really... We knew that she was going to be that way. Anyways, it'll be the third link on my links when I put it in the comments in the description. And the video that's shown, you'll see a video of Jacinda Arden talking, if you care to look at it. 
Jacinda Ardern is that prime minister from New Zealand. What she's doing over here, I have no idea, but she didn't do a good job where she was at. By the way, she is a dude. I don't care what anybody says. You put that mask on, you see the Adam's apple, and you see other stuff happening down there where, whenever she was walking around in the hallway with that dress on, there was other stuff in the middle that was just going places that shouldn't be going if there's, unless there's a hernia or something down there. I don't know, but I'll digress on that. Well, while she's talking and addressing this huge crowd of idiots, which are college people, I'm not going to say all college people are idiots, but if you look, the huge crowd that's gathered there, all clapping to this person, would definitely give you an idea of the academic level that they do concurrently have. Okay? So, if you'll look, you'll watch the video. It's a short video. I'm going to tell you where she's at, and you'll see her. If you'll look behind Jacinda Ardern while she's talking, and look to the right, there's a man in a robe with red stripes down it, with a red, whatever you want to call that thing. Well, judges, the Kataje woman is sitting right beside him there, and she's applauding this Jacinda Ardern. She is all for this. This is not an accident. It's not like it's going to surprise us or anything, but we need to get a handle on what's going on because they're really trying hard, very hard, to chip away at the things that created America and the wonderful pace that it was that created all these awesome our technology our ideas our personality our style is all superior to all countries because we had this thing called freedom freedom of speech and freedom of expression of course that's been a double-edged sword here recently because of the fact that people are exploiting that law when we see things like drag queen night at adult entertainment clubs and it's protected by law um so what we're going to do is, uh, I got one more video to cover right quick. It's, I'm getting ready to have to get, go live here in a little bit. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, Boris Johnson faces a, 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 the V word today that may end his day as prime minister. And that's a good thing because he's a dirt bag too. So that's one other article uh, to go by. Oh, and even Cardi B sees it. She's outspoken. Rapper sees recession on the horizon. That's it. So Cardi B says it must be, must be true, which it actually is true. Hmm. Well, all righty. Well, that being said, we are going to be, okay, definitely some interesting stuff going on, but God is in control. I'm going to be keeping my ears on the grindstone of what's going on out here and expose as much of it as I can. Um, just keep the head up. Don't let the sight get you. Just right, this, this kind of news cycle isn't the best, but it's okay. We can take this. We're going to run with it. We're going to be all right. Just know that, uh, Truth always wins, always comes out. Just know that. Things will be fine. Lots of love. God is in control.